So I'd like to open the planning, the Deerfield Planning Board meeting on November 7, 2016, 7.04 p.m. at the town offices. Tonight's agenda is uh, to review the minutes from September 12th and October 3rd. Uh, we'll look at any mail we have, we'll take some public comment, and then we have a public hearing of the Grandview Estates, which is off of Matthews Road, the modification of a 2003 subdivision plan. Then we have three A and R's to review: 264 River Road, 26 Whitmore Ferry Road, 75 Stillwater Road. Then we might talk about a subdivision two-family senior residential plan on 67 Sugarloaf Street. There might be a progress report and something about an environmental notification form. And then any other business not reasonably anticipated 20, 48 hours prior to a posting. Is there anything else we should add at this time, board members? We do have a quorum. Rachel, John, Max, Kip, John. Good. Is there, um, is this a good order? Are people here from Grandview? We are. Yes. Uh, so that'll be a big one. And then, um, do, do, do you have any idea? Is this going to get complicated? I don't think so. <laughs> you hope it's not. Unless the plan makes it complicated. <laughs> I don't think we think it's complicated at all. Well, that's usually my job, so. <laughs> all right, well, we'll stick to the order of the uh, of the agenda here. And you're an A&R person. You're an A&R. Who else is here for an A&R? So that means everybody else is here public? Public or what we need to do is oh, have sorry. Especially since we've done Yeah, so we're passing around the same. No, no, that's alright. Alright, so minutes. Do we get minutes from the last Thank meeting? Hi, Pat. We've got a seat over here for you if you'd like it. <laughs> Cozy. Where are you sitting? It's not yours. I'm sitting on the other chair. I'm going to put a cushion on this. Oh, I mean, it's not yours. It's a public one. Excuse me. Okay, there you go. All right, we don't have. Well, we have one copy of the October 3rd. Did you, anybody? We got it like. Yeah, three I weeks I ago. I know. I was just trying to find it on there. Um, oh, we don't have any other copies. No. Yeah. And it was actually rather. Um, Let's get some copies made of this, and we can do the do the minutes at the end. Um, Sounds good. All right. All right. So then we have um, anybody from the from the public who wants to make a comment that's Thank you. about anything that's not on the agenda. This is in case there's a quick question from someone in the town, but everybody's here for something on the agenda. Great. All right. Public hearing. have notices were printed in the paper twice and notices were sent out to the butters. John, I'm in the butters. Should I leave or? No, but after I read this then if you just state you yeah, know okay. conflict then you'll set out. So the only on one of them, right? No, I mean Grandview. Oh. Yeah, so this one's about the Grandview. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. Notice of public hearing. The Deerfield Planning Board will hold a public hearing on behalf of Grandview Estates, LLC, to consider a request for modification of a previously approved subdivision plan entitled Grandview Estates Alternate Procedures Plan, or AP and APP, subdivision in Deerfield, Mass., dated July 7, 2003. In accordance with the provisions of Mass. General Law, Chapter 41, Section 81, and Deerfield Bylaws, Chapter 264, Section 2. 2380, 
and 3440. A public hearing will be held on Monday, November 7, 2016 at 7 p.m. in the town offices located at 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass. Copies of the modification plan are on file in the municipal offices and are available for public inspection. Any person interested or wishing to be heard should appear at the time and place designated. So, here we are. Um, so, are some of these the plans, do you know, or do you have... Uh, you should have the mylars, and I think we've got the uh, extra paper copies. Mm. So, if, sure. if the applicants could present themselves and then remind us of what we did apparently back in 2003. Sure. We'd be happy to. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good evening, uh, members of the board. I'm Tom Reedy. I'm an attorney with Bacon Wilson uh, down in Amherst here on behalf of Grandview Estates. Uh, with me this evening is the member, uh, Barry Roberts, and also from Bacon Wilson, Dave Burson. Um, really what we're looking to do um, it's pretty simple. We did have to go through the formality of the 4181T public hearing notice because we're looking to modify a previously approved uh, alternative procedures plan that was approved back in 2004, I believe, uh, by this board. Um, and really all we're looking to do is the original approval was for an, uh, a cul-de-sac with an 80-foot radius. That allowed right, us... Just for the minutes, we'll make sure that people know Max okay. Antes on the planning board is, uh, has a potential conflict. So, uh, I, I may or may not. Do you mind if I stay? Or no? Say, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, so you can stay as, as a member of the public. Okay. Um, thank you. No, not at all. Um, so the original approval was for a cul-de-sac with a radius of 80 feet. That was pretty specifically to get sufficient frontage to allow two building lots. So if you look at the previous approval, lots one and two, each with 200 feet of frontage, uh, appeared at the, I think it's the northerly side of the site. Um, and the approval was to have it constructed in accordance with the plan. Subsequently, uh, Barry has found a purchaser who wants to combine those two lots, one and two. And so the proposal is to reduce the radius of the cul-de-sac to 60 feet. Uh, which is what's required by the alternative procedures plan in your subdivision control uh, rules and regulations. And then also shift it down about 60 feet southerly um, and then to combine lots one and two. Uh, notably, nothing's changing, changing with the drainage or the grading of the roadway. Um, the drainage infrastructure has already been approved. Um, and it's, it's, if anything, now over designed because you're reducing the amount of what would be impervious area by reducing that cul-de-sac. So kind of as a matter of technicality, we've got to be back and for you for the modification of the, the planning board um, definitive subdivision plan approval. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you have specific to either the original plan or this proposed modification. We've got Barry here who probably has pretty extensive institutional knowledge about this site and project. I think my only question would be, has the uh, emergency people been right. informed of this as far as Fire, the police? Yeah, so maybe Barry can take it that from would be my other I spoke with the chief and brought him a set of the plans and spoke with them about it and told them we were having a public hearing tonight. Mm -hmm. and, um, I went like two weeks ago and spoke with him about it and told them that the cul-de-sac would be what you're ordinarily uh, would be required to put in in a normal subdivision. So. He didn't give me a direct comment one way or another. I think that would be my only question is, as that? far as where the people turning that's all. We have some, we, we put out requests for comments to the town, to other town uh, officials and boards, and we have something from the highway superintendent saying DPW has no issues, except they must conform with exhibit two, page four, conditions of approval. Did you get something from them, the DPW? We have not, but I, I can imagine we can comply with what yeah. they're requiring. He's got some other number five, 11, 15, 16, so we'll find out what that is. The Board of Selectmen says no issues that they are aware of, and the Conservation Commission says they did sort of look at this, they remembered it. Um, and their advice is that the applicant should file Form 8A, a request uh, to 
request a certificate of compliance. Have you heard about this? Uh, no, we haven't, but that's something that we can certainly do. I think when we're dealing with, I mean, if you look at where the jurisdictional areas would be, where the wetlands are, um, we've got a, a printout from your GIS site. I mean, there's nothing anywhere near what we're dealing with here, um, but I think a certificate of compliance would be required just to close up right. that order of That's conditions. Sort of, which, I don't think anybody's yeah. having issues with it. We we'll, just want to make sure we follow we'll all the We'll certainly right do it, and that'll be something if it gets developed, any sort of uh, either purchaser or lender would require that just to close the loop. So it's something that we've got to do um, at some point. Doesn't this road already exist? It does. It's all blacktop and everything. No, it's not all blacktop. The blacktop only goes up to it's about in here. Yeah. Feet. Right, and then it's gravel from there. And also, the other thing to remember, this is a private road. It will always be a private road. Your bylaws say that it can never be presented at the town to become a public right. Because there's a change in that, does that trigger our stormwater bylaws? It shouldn't. No, it won't. Okay. That's well, it is being shrunk, so. Right. Yeah. If it, and the drainage is already but, in there, and it's, yeah. like I said, over-designed already. So we have, um, Pat, I forget where we left off on this. Did we ask you to? No, I haven't actually looked at this yet, but I knew that it was on the agenda. Yeah. So I did bring booklets and things in case you know, issues came up that I could assist with. Well, I guess that's one of it is, again, no one seems to have, you know, I think we're pretty clear. It's actually, like I say, less blacktop and stuff, but we just want to make sure we go through all of our motions. And, and I don't know if things have changed since we approved it the last time. Like, does it, because we didn't have the stormwater bylaw, do not have a stormwater bylaw. The current then. one we didn't have back then. Right. Um, Do not. So, but that. So you but now we have exemptions it, so. over time and so forth in terms of what would what would apply. Is that the yeah. question? I'd have to do a little research on it. You guys may have some uh, thoughts on that already that you've developed. I mean, I would think that it's grandfathered in. I, I don't think we necessarily have to go through the stormwater. Um, permit, uh, stormwater management permit, and I think that as part of the order of conditions, there was a stormwater, and I've got a letter here from Kohler and Col Antonio, um, I think the stormwater management form was filed uh, when it was originally approved, and I think it, it met all of the criteria that it needed, that time. yeah, that it needed to meet. Um, I can't imagine that the purpose or intent was for something I would call it de minimis, like this. Um, you know, if this was a whole re totally redevelopment, if this road was going, you know, in, in many different ways, I know there's a guardrail up, so it makes it difficult um, to change the the location of it. But something more substantial than what we're just doing right here, I think, would certainly rise to the level. But I think what we're looking to do, as far as reduction of the impervious area, wouldn't um, mm -hmm. trip that threshold. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that's. Then there was this conditions of approval, and so I somehow, I think I came in at the tail end of this. You, do you, John, remember? We yeah. both came in at the tail at end the of this. Tail that yeah, yeah. shows you how long. We've yeah, been here. I didn't realize yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was that long. So, <laughs> are we on the ballot tomorrow? But we can get. <laughs> yeah. No, unfortunately, yeah. it's. Uh, uh, it's not a tail end. Um, so. Because I remember the guardrail was a big issue. I remember we kept going back and forth on it, and, and I think finally it was like, "Oh, no, we met all the you conditions." You did a nice, that sturdy, and, and, yeah. and we came back to the planning and board yep. and get final. Approval. And the fire department was happy. That was I remember. Two thousand and nine, I think it was. Yeah. That we've got a letter that uh, we've yeah. met all of the conditions. I was still in high school. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for what it's worth, I my thought process. I mean, the, they went through hell and back on this and they're reducing and all the land around it's in conservation so so i mean i I'm, i guess we just have to make sure our eyes are dotted and t's are crossed but i i just can't see where this is so here i just found in the back of this pack it was two was another town office um board of health no concerns and building commissioner I was looking for the police because um, police and fire 
Okay. Because as you said, that's that would be my one. So yeah. the turnaround is now. Say that again. It was eighty feet. It was eighty yeah, feet. You require under your subdivision mm -hmm. rules and regulations sixty feet. Okay. And mm -hmm. so I mean, I would imagine you wouldn't put something in there as a requirement well, if it wasn't <laughs> safe. Then so I, and I, I did the, not know the that. The fire so. chief yeah. would have. I would imagine said something to Barry. Um, Pat, do you know where that is listed? Is that um, so that's in the alternative procedure. Yeah, uh, 2370 section F, if you want to. So that's zoning. Call this uh, uh, subdivision. Not less than 60 feet. Yeah, not less than 60 feet. In the subdivision controller? Uh, in, in your, yeah, in your subdivision, uh, chapter 264. Uh, yes, 2370 yeah. subsection F. So the reason it was 80 originally was just to get the front end. Bingo. Absolutely. Yeah. So now we're just combining the oh, lots. No, don't, need need it. don't need it. Does this get treated like an A and R for the most part, or how, how does this? Uh... Well, it's technically a subdivision. Right. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, it's not an A and R is. Not as simple, <laughs> but it's almost as simple as that. Right, right, right. 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 That's that's yeah. that, no, it's is just, what you're looking at. That's why I tried to say it's a technicality. Do, more than do, anything do else. we vote on it <clears throat> as a? Um, it's a, as an endorsement. Yeah, you have to go so yeah, that so what would happen process. is you would sign the mylar, and then that modification would only so you would if the board pleases would approve it. And then we would have that mylar, and then only because this is somewhat contingent upon um, a prospective purchaser purchasing it, probably close to or simultaneously with the closing, we would record that mylar, and then your modified subdivision approval would go into effect. If that purchaser decided uh, they didn't want that, and this existing remained in effect, we wouldn't put it to record. We'd obviously let you know that we're not going to record right. with the modification, and then what you had approved from 2003 would stay in force and effect. So um, it really is, you vote to approve it, and then you sign the Mylar, and then we keep you in the loop. Now, what, I thought one of the other conditions we had was that it was paved at some point, and then that kept getting put off because you weren't selling the yeah, lots. It was like the first 900 feet needed to, and then the last 380 feet could stay gravel. I believe it's in the... Um I believe it's in the uh, conditions and approvals actually at the, at the very end of the filed plans. A, the oh, I see thing. that, but it's tiny print. Is there another? <laughs> actually, I do have the. There's like a photograph of it or something. I can't. Uh, you have the bigger in my. I don't think it has all pages of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to get much out of that. I mean, we could pull the old no. file and stuff, but. Um, Condition 8. Is there any reason why you would expect you would not need to go through the 20 day appeal period on modification? No. I don't think there would be any reason why you wouldn't. So when would that happen then in that time frame? Because you know, normally they would so, you know, they would they would vote mm -hmm. to approve a subdivision mm -hmm. and then there would be an appeal period and only after that would they would endorse. Okay. So, so uh, you can then I'm trying to figure out how that sure, works sure. with your scenario. Um I was just thinking as a matter of convenience to signing it and having it signed this evening, the appeal period, and then at the, at the expiration of the appeal period, we would pick up that mile iron. And so is that the same? Well, you know, I haven't done a lot of work with modifications, yeah. but when you do a straight subdivision yep. for its first time through, yep. it is not, they vote to approve it, but they didn't sign it until okay. after the appeal period, that endorsement we, we happens can, after that time. You know, we're fine. We're going to follow, you know, you'd be follow the procedures as you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've got that, the vote. That's, that's really that's what we're looking job. for. And, yeah. uh, I, do have, I can actually read the, the small print. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's Obviously, okay. he's under if I can a read certain name. He's under four. <laughs> well, well we it's not. Read it too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, road oh, construction okay. main employs trap rock gravel as top course material from road station 9 through road station 13. All other portions of the subdivision road shall be constructed. Using bituminous concrete pavement as specified on sheet L3 of the Grand View Drive Plan prepared by Berkshire Design Group. Okay. So I like this. This is the old lot line in the dotted, and then the new one is. Yep. 
So what, do you want to put a, uh, how do we feel about what, you, I'd like to get the fire department sign off too. Well, I mean, we could um, approve it with a contingency that the fire they police have no problem. say it's okay. Yeah. I, I can't see why they wouldn't, but I, I think know. that would be prudent on, yeah. on our end. Yeah, I'm not sure why we didn't get it. <coughs> so how do we uh, make a motion on this? Just make a motion to approve the changes? I'm a little worried about it being contingent. I, I think this Don't worry about it. Well, I, you might you might just want to hold off and vote at your well, we wouldn't meeting. sign it anyways until right, but it would have been approved. Okay, and and that would stand unless it were appealed successfully at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the contingency factor is a little dicey, and it might not be satisfactory to a purchaser either. Right. Right. We wouldn't work on it. So I think on both sides, it may not work. Uh, so I, I guess if I may, my suggestion would be to approve, and then we'll get something from the fire chief because I mean, if he would have had an issue. We would have heard about it by now, plus your subdivision regulations allow the 60 yeah, it's, feet. So, I mean, exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah, we're, yeah. we're happy to get it, but just to, yeah, yeah, yeah. for your concern. I think that about point is well taken. It, it, it meets your guidelines. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I'm assuming their guidelines was what the fire department was happy enough right. with that they could And they, were, they were asked to provide their input and right. did not sure. have the opportunity to do so. so and probably, we didn't say anywhere if in they the had major issues, they would have let you know that. Yeah. Right. We didn't say anywhere in the original that it had to be 80. No, no. Right. That was just. Right. Right. And did we say anything in the original that it had to be so many lots? I guess because that didn't. Well, I mean, less lots is always better than more lots when it comes to. Depends who you are. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. When it, comes, when it comes to subdivisions and and all that jazz is. Um, why is less better? <laughs> Let's just for town <laughs> services or for <laughs> impact on the environment. Say, I guess. <laughs> like I said, right. that we don't know. <laughs> just to change. All right, so I'm going to take a motion then. For All right, I'll approval. make a motion that we approve the changed the altered Modified. plan for Grandview Estates dated September 28, 2016. Can we have the uh, modification for the for the for the conservation commission that we with? What was it again? They said we wanted the certificate of compliance, the 8A. It's a form 8A certificate of compliance to close out the OOC. What's that? Oh. Order of conditions. Order of conditions. Yeah. And I don't know if I mean, not to conflate things, but I don't know if that makes sense for the planning board to impose that as any sort of condition on this approval. It's something that we're going to have to go through and get anyway separately through the Conservation Commission. I mean, it's a matter of you've got to get a certificate of compliance if you want any marketability associated with the property. So it's a base we're going to have to touch. And I would just prefer not to muddy the waters of this modified approval um, if it's something we have to do anyways. Yeah, he's right, actually, because it's the Conservation Commission is a separate entity. If they had a problem, they would. Well, they met. Did they look at it the other night? I believe so. But you, you were not. We no, we were not. Because all he told me was that they had the request for comment from us. Yeah. And that's what made them say we need the certificate of compliance. Right, and that's um, something we can follow up. Like I said, we're going to have to get it for any of these lots to actually be marketable. Yeah. And then if, I mean, you look at one of these, like uh, lot five, lot four, if somebody wants to develop it and they're within the 100 foot buffer zone, they're gonna have to go and do their own notice of intent to do the work that they're looking to do. So it's not, we're not closing this out and saying, see you later, we're gonna develop all these properties. We're gonna have, or whoever's gonna purchase, is gonna have a continued conversation with the Conservation Commission. So I think that there's sufficient security for the town to know that this will get taken care of. All right, I'm just going to read. Uh, this is from Steve Barrett of the Conservation Commission on November 3rd. So I think they just, as a point of reference, a request for comments was submitted to the CONCOM by the Planning Board for the above reference project. Our usual comment has been no comment due to the fact that there's usually no reason for us to comment. Uh, this case was different as we members who've been on the CONCOM for a while remember that there was 
This was somewhat controversial. This was a somewhat controversial project. As a follow-up to our CONCOM meeting last week, so we good enough to pull the file. They went through it. There was an RDA file. Request for determination of applicability. With a positive determination. And an OI was filed, which was sent out to Kohler and Colantino for independent review. That review was made a part of the NOI when the OOC was issued. Um, he then spoke to Mark Stinson from Mass DEP today regarding our next step. His advice was to have an applicant file the Form A to request the Certificate of Compliance to close out the OOC. At that point, we can do a site visit and make a determination that the NOI slash OOC was followed and issue, and issue the certificate or request that the OOC is followed more completely if that is the case. Yep. All right, so they're going to do that. That's totally with CONCOM. Yeah. Regardless of what, plenty what, of teeth. Uh, what we do here. All right. That makes sense. Okay. But I'm glad we have we know about it. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. great that everybody's able to be informed. All right, so motion on the table to accept it as uh, revised. A second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. And abstention from Rex. Can you take a minute? Over? Sorry, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at you like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, four, four, uh, four zero one. Four zero, perfect. Thank you, Thank you very much. We got our invite to the door. Thank you. Always leave my hat. We got two. We got. It's uh, the top, the bottom, and then the. Uh, I mean, this is just kind of, a, kind of a cover sheet, I guess. Yeah. But this is the actual... And then the, the, there should be a second miler behind that. No. Yes. So the thing is... So now, we're not signing tonight. John, though, John. What, John, normally what you would do on the subdivision is you would file a report uh, saying you have voted uh, to approve it. And then the 20 days goes forward and then you endorse after you get notice from the town clerk to know if has been filed. So is this just a continuation of the same? Exactly. Lot? So that that shows lot five. Uh, oh, the top of this exactly because you can't see the top yeah, lot without it. So when it comes time to sign, we sign both of these. Right. Because they both they go together. And and we'll need to just make sure to get that. Uh, I can help out with getting a report to Tom Clerk on your vote. All right. Thank you all very much. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. So we have three ARs, 264 River Road. Is someone here for 264 River Road? Yeah. Is this the one that we kept putting off because we didn't understand it? Yeah, because I was having a hip. Place, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't here. That's why you weren't at the Y either, uh, right. very much. All right. right. <laughs> well, I'll explain it now if you want. Yep. It's, uh, oh, you know what I forgot to ask them was the um, Priscilla asked about how much it cost to refile, to revise a um, APP. Because I think it says $300 to, when they first did it, and I don't think we have a, we don't have a different payment for revision, so it's probably $300. I, mean, I think that it is the best one piece schedule. Yeah, I could. I have it right in front of me right now. I would well, I have a note to check on that as well. Uh, I don't know if you have that one. So this is a uh, applicant Bonita Weeks, 264 the road and the, um, the, the plan, the application uh, says, what are the proposed changes to the plan? It says combine two parcels to create one building lot, combine parcel A to a budding property. And so we had lots of questions because of this funny, it, it, funny line there. Yeah, and yeah, see. yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's squirrely, but I do think if you combine, what, what Vicki wants to do is this is an existing piece right here and this is in a butter in here what he wants to do since this this parcel as it is now it goes like this 
only has 50 feet of frontage, which is not enough for a building lot. Mm -hmm. So he has frontage over here that he wants to take from his larger parcel and combine that with this. He'll get his 200 feet of frontage here and he's got all his area, but he will have to go and explain to him that he will need a variance in order to access, to access over there. But that will be the next step of the process. Well, we have an interesting thing here because we have a bylaw that talks about the driveway coming off of this area. Off, the, off of the frontage. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that's why you would have to get a variance from the zoning board to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's been done in town numerous times, but um, that's... Well, this is one of those catch-22 situations where the variance should be given before we sign, and but they, you know, we need to sign before they give the variance. It's kind of like a <laughs> chicken and egg type thing. Yeah. Well, again, I mean, all I mean, we look at is is the new lot. Yeah, it will be a conforming lot because it side. has because it has the frontage. It's less. It's more than a sixty degree angle there, and obviously the areas, you know, but, but between all these areas that are over hundred feet wide. He's got. Is this the? No, isn't there something in there we that talks about the about narrow? The width. Yeah, yeah. The width. yeah. yeah so there's that a lot doesn't. width requirements. And that, is that not a bridge on that? All that 200 feet frontage. Is there not a bridge? There is. There it's is. There is yeah, yeah. There's a culvert, a culvert yeah, there. That's why yeah. he can't. He he can't access there. So that's why he wanted to combine that and make this usable. So you don't have to access. You have to access here in order for it to be. Easy. He wait, here we would have to get this sign as a, you know approved as a building lot. It's got the fronts in the area, but he would have to access here, and, but he have to go to the zoning board and get a variance to do that. So, if, so you, if you have your zoning in front of you, and as you appear to, John, you want to look at um, the definitions. Page one seventy nine eighty three has the diagram on lot width. Okay. And then the uh, lot frontage. Frontage is defined on 179.80. So what, what line are we moving? What, what line are you moving again, Dan? I must have missed um, this one right He's here. adding. Let me show you. I can show you the existing. I can no, no, no. 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 Adding lines. I'll show you the existing plan. So that might make it simpler. This whole line is being added. Because he owns all that, right? Well, he actually so owns. He actually owns all of this. Right. So he's adding. This is the new line, right? That that will be the new line. The existing lot. This this existing lot comes like this. Okay. Goes to here. That's an exist. That's an existing. Oh. And, and it's not a building lot. It was it, it, it was labeled not a building lot when they signed right, this A and R before mm -hmm. because they didn't have their frontage. But he wanted to retain it and keep it with this. But now he's trying to make make it a building lot by having his legal frontage here, and then he would obviously have to get a zoning variance to access over here. And he knows that. I told him that. And well, I think the way we would have to do this is be, because it is an A and R, and it's not up to us to decide a lot of things. But we can. It's still not a building lot under current zoning, so I think we could endorse it as still not a building lot and then after it goes through the zoning zba if they chose to to say you know we'll give you the variance then then it that could be removed well i think that's that that that's probably correct because i labeled these not building lots right? it says it's right never now? you never sign an no. anr with any they always right, say it's right, not right. a building lot that's okay. a given All right. okay so that's a given and you're required to guarantee when you sign an A and R, you are saying that it has the required frontage and access over that frontage. So I think your earlier comment is really salient because, and this would be a, maybe a question for council because I, I I'm not sure they can answer that, but I think they would have to get the variance first before you could sign this. And I think that this is very reminiscent of something that happened not too long ago, where the applicant applied for a variance and was granted a variance and ended up costing the town several thousand dollars. And this is, you know, when our bylaw states that the driveway needs to come here, and it can't happen for a couple of reasons. One is a culvert, and one is the width here. Right. Mm -hmm. So this minimum lot width, which right. is a uh, lot width shall be measured by a line drawn between all non-intersecting lot lines. I mean, a minimum distance as specified in Table 2320, and this is RA. 
So this is 100 feet. Is this the this? Yeah, and so then there are these. So all, all lines, all plot lines have to be at least 100 feet wide. Well, there's, there's several <laughs> Is that the way it's illustrations? Or, it just, or, or does it just mean that the area that is under that 100 feet wide cannot be counted toward the, area, uh, the square footage of the lot, or the area of the lot? Mm -hmm. and so I think that that's what I, if I can remember no, correctly, I think I think it does mean that it cannot be counted towards the square foot. Well, the that's lot. what we were talking about these angles and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We said you can't count pointy things like that. But it this was a, anything about this is an example of why those were reworked. Right. Right. What we're looking at right that's here. Awesome. This is lot yeah. width. It's 100 feet, and lot width shall be measured by a, lot, lot, a line drawn between all non-intersecting lot lines and having a minimum distance of 100. All lines projected for this purposes of measuring minimum lot width shall be drawn perpendicular to the property line of the origin. So do you have this? Actually, none do of you this. have this. It doesn't this, say uh, about that you, you don't, it counds towards the 60,000. Do you have that? Yeah. No, this okay. is but that's about the angles. And, well, that has both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that has, has both. both. The, um, I've never seen anything that's like, you can put lot lines so close together. Just, uh, what is what is the height of this What is here? I'm just, this is like a... This is something else. That's it on the property over there. But we don't know. We don't know. This, this, is, this is a commonwealth over here. It is a commonwealth. Yeah. Yeah, you, probably, that, um, sure, okay. So the thing that you would literally have to do would be to vote to non-endorse and file so a written report available. to that effect, and then that's what you would take to, take to the ZBA board. Okay. as evidence that you need the variance. I think that's how that would work. So that's my understanding is that the lot width, it just says all lot widths in RA have to be 100 feet. Can you take a so this is the six. Uh, the six. Okay. All right. So you're going to recommend that it goes to get a variance anyway, right? So I so so if I change these, I mean, if you want to keep it as thin as possible, but I mean, how much? And the other thing is, you need to tell us how what the width is. There. You can't see. It. Well, We're this, this, less than this, this is one inch is eighty feet. This is less than a hundred. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but no, all of those, is, all of those, 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 and the thing yeah. is that the lot width is one issue, but you, but I think the the frontage and the access is it's the a primary thing. issue. So even if you fix the lot width, I think they would still not still. be able to endorse it mm -hmm. on the basis of that more primary underlying access problem, access and frontage. Okay, so but he's saying they could go for variance, and there's only more. Right. If the zoning board potentially, we, we know what. I mean, I would change sometimes. Yeah. I would change these to make it a little wider, you know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's not a problem. You have plenty of property, but we thought we'd. we I guess we thought it. Yeah. It might make it more likely whatever. that the ZBA would accept yeah, and provide you the variance if you if you that you had, yeah. you met the lot width requirements and they yeah. were just looking at the frontage and access. And yeah. I mean, I don't think I don't see why they wouldn't because it's been done in town many times, but um, but I, I don't know that for sure. But I think what I'd recommend to make you is that we meet these. You know. I'm, 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 we'll make this so it's 100 feet wide, anyway. Because this is him too, right? Um, when yeah, and he wants to combine this with the rest of his property. I, I mean, to tell you the truth, when we were doing our zoning, we doing the zoning, but we're trying to get around, get away yeah, this from this. This is exactly, this is, this is like, exactly. You don't want lots like this in Deerfield. This is exactly that. why we did the angles and exactly. the 100 yeah. feet. Yeah. This is it's squirrely. a perfect example. <laughs> Now, why, you know, whenever we outline this, why you did that, you know, who knows, but it was... I'm not sure why you Maybe there's this hills and rivers in, in there, I don't way. know, but... Uh, but this had been sold off. Yeah, I mean, like, these three like, kind of, you can understand like why they... Ago, so we only had the 50 feet left there, yeah. yeah. which... I don't know plan that, but, you know... Yeah, well, well, whatever, it, 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 it wasn't planned. <laughs> it is what it is, you know, but but now he's trying to make it yeah. so you can sell it as a build. So. If he has to vote for a variance, that's, you know, I told him he may have to do that. I mean, I may, you know, I told him, I said, I'll, I'll run it by the board, but you may have to go yeah. get the variance first. Yeah. So, so we have used guys to decide, you know, what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Right. All right. So, 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 so I think to make it more palatable to the zoning board, I'll you know, you know, I'll increase this to at least 100 feet, so that when it comes. You know. So what's it, if we don't endorse it? Is that yeah, worse than having them just withdraw it and come back? It. I forget how so that goes. Then he had what is this well, you, what you're trying to avoid, you know, is a constructive grant. So I think you I need think to. I think you need to not endorse it and state your reasons. But and it that doesn't mean he has to wait two two years to come back. And it's not one of those no. kind of deals. Like no. it's something. No, we're just like not a site plan or something. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. If you want to say without prejudice and you know that yeah. would add That's some good. added benefits. <laughs> so a motion to the effect of. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we do not endorse this plan because there are several issues. A lot with is what. The we're lot, well, a lot with yes. the front edge access, yes. the access to the front edge. Um, so we do not think that the plan should be endorsed without prejudice. That's important without prejudice. So you, you are, yeah, you're, you're going to not endorse it without that, so that mm -hmm. He's going to come back with a different one anyway, that sounds like. So that yeah, I'm going to make it so it's, so at least it's on board, or I'm going to recommend to make, it, to make that a little bit wider so that at least, I mean, we'll get rid of that, and then the only thing that really would be endorsing would be the 50 foot, you know, the access over the 50 foot frontage. Is this um, all the here? It goes in here too. Yeah. It's um, it, and it's ac that's that's the thing. Access from the frontage, you have to have access. From the frontage, right? That, that's the the frontage that you're using. Yeah, you have to have access across. The and, uh, and and where there was the frontage, there was not the no because the sixty thousand. It wasn't the you couldn't. And the abutter has you know has the expectation that that's not a buildable yeah. block. Second? Sorry. Is it second for that motion? I'll no second. Rachel just did. Any, no, other, any other discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Aye. Thanks. Glad you're here tonight, Pat. I'll take this. That's what you do. All right, so I guess, so you're, you're taking the plans back? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have anything to do. You're not going to do anything. All, All right, so I have the application, though. I'm going to keep. We'll have to file a, a written report with the town clerk indicating this yeah. action on the part of the board. And then that will end up getting sent out right. to them. That will give them the basis for going for a Excellent. So can you, can you help, help us with that. some wording on that? Yep. All right, thanks. We appreciate the explanation. Yeah. Sorry. Well, it's... <laughs> but we put this off for two months because we... It was not expected because I, you know, I told him, Mickey, and you might, you might, you may have to get a variant. Yeah. yeah. So we have two more Whitmore here in Stillwater. All right. So now we've got... Uh, Next. 20... So you Your 27? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 26. Window here, here yeah. So the uh, application is, name of applicant is Douglas Tierney at uh, 26 Whitmore Ferry Road. And what they're asking, the what is the proposed change? See if, see if that's the letter. Request to correct property boundary of house and our and of our adjoining farmland currently owned by Edward and Charlene Galinsky and Arlene and Doug Tierney. So I can read this letter or do you want to tell us? Well, sure here. Um, e either one. I, I guess as we, we put our house on the market, we discovered something we hadn't known, that my father-in-law was gracious enough for us to give land, but when the house was built, this section was part of our property. So what uh, it didn't make any sense to us. So what we're, I asked Dan to do what the proposal is to seek to take this land and move it in back a bit, which is 
what I asked Dan to do, and that's what the proposal is. Nothing changes regarding uh, our lot size, and nothing changes regarding 61A size. It's merely to get rid of, it wouldn't make sense to have your house and put your property line over here. Uh, it didn't make any sense to us once we discovered this. And to be honest with you, not until I saw this thing at Town Hall, did it make it, did it become crystal clear? Mm -hmm. So what, you're, you're carving off? So you're just I'm taking like this, this triangle and I've asked Dan to just put it in the back of the house. See, see right now where, where every, you know, the Glenskys are planting everything. Right. This, this is the edge of their planting line. Here. Okay. And, and, and this is, this is actually all on here. But the property line right now extends through okay. into the field. Uh, okay. So mm -hmm. what they want to do is take, is to take this area, combine it with the Glenskys and make it go right along the edge of the field. And, and this oh, area, they're taking that area there. Yeah, so it's a swap. Which is, it's a, that's it's a what it is. Yeah. So this piece for this piece, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yes. Exactly. Yes. And, and that'll make this mm -hmm. two acres, and this will be two point six nine. Mm -hmm. And the new frontage is two thirty one. Two thirty one. Still over two hundred. Mm -hmm. And it makes it actually more conforming by getting away, yep. getting rid of the triangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it cuts kind of right through that backyard. Really, they have some plant things. things. They have some plant things in mm -hmm. here and stuff, and they didn't. You know, it was all family land, so they didn't really care whether right whether they were putting mm -hmm. stuff at the time. All right. Well, I'd like to make a motion to endorse the plan as presented. Okay. The only thing we changed from uh, the one the ones that Arlene submitted, I just added, I think, Junior to the name. We had the Glenskys on this because it was on their deed. So, so this other. This is the one that we're submitted, but they're the same. The map is all the same. Oh, it's okay. just I like changed those names on that. So I thought I'd get yeah, so we'll that. Yeah, so only because I might have to put my other hat on. Do you have to go to the Board of Selectmen to to release the 61A? Yeah, if it's in 61, then you have to get it released. Yeah. To release this? This parcel here. No, no this is parcel. already yours. Yeah. So if you want to give it out, that's fine. But you're moving this lot over here and then coming over like that. Yeah. This parcel here is this is this dotted line is the existing that, line. That, that so this this parcel yeah. here needs to be so released. We would need to do that. The I town has a right of first refusal yeah, before a property can be okay. sold yes. when it's under Just ask Meg about that. She's probably already aware of it. And hey, swapping it for this sixty-one is that going to become sixty-one A? Well, if right. they if that's put it in, that's fine. That's well, I mean, that's well, right now, we still have to look right, at it. Still right now, this is not in sixty-one. Right, it's not. That's what I'm saying. But it has to. We still have to. The reason that they need they should do this is because they're at the registered deeds there's a lien on this land right. the town has the agricultural lien right. so yeah. if you don't take care of that and you go to sell this their lawyers gonna look and say oh geez oh, you know. yeah. yeah well pretty, based upon your action we already hired uh, uh, Zomek and Zomek so to do whatever we need I'm pretty sure the Megan, Megan, right. Megan Zomek so we'll be yeah. able to just file whatever yeah it's it'll be an easy thing yeah. to do yeah, I just yeah. wanted you to be aware. Yeah, of it. so, I, well, so I, I just because I drove up from the Cape. So do I need to go to the select board? You will have to at some point. You'll have to bring. I don't think you have to come, but I think you have to file a request. I, I would have Meg do it. Okay, yeah. just just put it. In yeah, there I'm, I'm not even sure of the process, but I, I okay. I know well, they have 120 days to review it. They can expedite that. You might yeah. request them to expedite that, depending on the nature of the transactions and your okay. time frame. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't see that would take us that much time at all. It's just a formality, that I think. I think the irony involved is having lived in this place for 23 years. You didn't know about this. It's to discover. <laughs> Where the walnuts really are. <laughs> so. so you could have been eating whatever they grew on that all this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <back here. laughs> I can tell you there was great cabbage there and then one year butternut. And, you know, so. yeah. and like I said, it's all within the family, so. Okay. So you move to endorse? I move yep. to endorse. A uh, second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Five zero zero. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. Kippy's uh, You're right. Yeah, you're good. Good. Exactly. You are a point. Or but never take, that's take not a mile We time. don't need to know that information. It's a planning board, right? Because we're just endorsing a plan. 
It's helpful to and, know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know it's helpful, but how would we know that? Ultimately, it would come through. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily know. It was a really good question. I can't see those notes from here that maybe somebody in there that alerted to, or he just may know. No, they don't. Just, just. But, you know, I only because I, I deal with it all the time, that once I saw that lot line, and I know that there's a, a lien on there, and I own some property yeah. in Montague where it was in 61A, and I wanted to do almost the same thing. And I had to go and you know get a release from the. Yeah, and remember when we were talking about yeah. the Sugarloaf Street well, I, subdivision? I there's one of those the lots that's in 61 right. as well, and that has to be dealt with before they could proceed. So, it's so, so a good question. We wouldn't necessarily always know that answer. But you're the owner. You're not the wait. You're not the owner of this, though. Are you? The piece you're adding. No, they're well, swapping it. But they, well, I know, but don't we need but, the, uh, the other party needs to approve this too? Well, that's it. It's jointly owned by Ed and Charlene Galinsky and the Tierney Trust. Who's us? So, how, like, how do we know? I'm not sure our form is even. How do we know that? How do we know we're not giving away someone else's plan? <laughs> this isn't, well, no, it's not about you, Doug. I'm like, just, like, what a, what proof, like, shouldn't we have? Before we endorse. I mean, we're always, we often do this, and we don't. Well, well you don't know how it's well. going to happen is, ultimately. Yeah, you're, you're, we're saying it's. Okay. You're saying this plan will work according yeah. to yeah. your history of deeds. That, yeah. That's more of a red, but it's that's a, but, a, but that's up to the surveyor to make sure that the owner's record or. No, it's a registry of deeds, isn't it? The well, registry of deeds is on that. Well, let's say that was if, not your problem. If anything gets transferred, the Galenskys are going to have to sign it anyway. Right. right. There would be a there's, there's, formal there's, deed transfer. There's, there's no way it's going to be transferred. Right. So that yeah. hasn't It doesn't happen by virtue of this being okay. signed. That's what I just want to make sure. There has to be a formal process okay. for the and deed. All these years we've been I, doing this. I, I, I know. Right. Never, <laughs> the the Galenskys are the ones that will have to file to remove it. Well, usually it's the same owner just breaking it in two. But this is like a swap. Well, actually, that or we're both you both well uh, you're part of that anyway because correct Arlene, Arlene and I right. and Ed and Charlene are joint owners of this land 50 50. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. that was well, that's the way it was yeah. yeah that's what I thought I thought we were doing it all the time and then we just have to sign off they were your swim instructions too? My, yeah. 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 Of course they were. Yeah. But I, I remember the freezing morning. my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Man-made on those spring mornings. Yeah. That was a long time ago. You think? 10, 15 years. Back in your high school. Back in high school. A couple of years ago. <laughs> Back in your high school. Oh, let's see. Years. Well, I hit the big 5 0 last month, so I would have been eight or nine, probably. Let me know how it is. All right, next up is still water. Did you guys leave the date out for this because you forgot? Or? 7 11. Oh, we were doing it backwards. You did the European way. What well, plus 7-Eleven? How cool is that? Thank you. I think they're all 7-Eleven. Just keep it to make it. 7-Eleven. All right, I'll move the Japanese. They would say. Okay, you can take that by right now. And how many copies do you guys keep? Two or three? I don't know. I think I signed for both of them. Anything other above that? What your normal tradition is? Thank you. Four. What's today, the 7th? Yes, sir. It is. Yeah. Seven Tomorrow is the 8th. We know about that. that. <laughs> that glad we're not dead, though, right? I'm just worried the line's going to be worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll see. Why don't you put 2,000? Why'd you put it like that? That's the Japanese way. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to look at that and go, what the hell is with these people think? <laughs> The Japanese is my name has an international flair. <laughs> Come on, John. We're in a, a majority. You could just say that as a Polish one. <laughs> Lithuanian way. We have four signatures on Where are you? Yes. Uh, we got three at least. I think we need four. more. Yeah, we need four. Can't do anything with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
guys. See you later. Yeah. How many years have you been married? How's your, everything working? Now? Forty-four. Okay. Everything working? Forty-four years. Now. Congratulations. Once, one so you got maybe married. forty-five. Yeah. You got married about the time <laughs> she was a swim instructor. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Well, I, she was pregnant with her first son. Right. Really? Right. It came well, all right. All right. Good luck. But if it turns yeah. out as good as that one, we would come out here. I was good. Yeah. This house is is where we were raising pukes. So you need to. This is when I take something. You take the mylar. That's the key thing. Because that's the one that goes with the registry. How many copies do you guys keep, John? Three. Um, okay. So let, leave them three copies, and then you can take any. Of Building definitely, and then one. Assessors. Planning. Three. Planning, assessors. building, assessors. Yeah. I usually keep three. Yeah. Okay. So anything above that is yours. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the you need to sign them. Yeah. You don't need, you need, you don't need the ones that are signed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can sign them. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can, you know, if he thinks he wants signed, then sign them all. But you don't but need to do anything. All, really all he really needs is the mylar. Yeah. And you can get the recording purposes. You've got the date on the Max, will you be recusing yourself twice in one night? No, because I I think there's somebody in between this and myself. They, the barn got sold. You're within 300 feet? Yeah. Well, there. <laughs> so should I take it? You're all set. We've got the ones we need. You've got the three? Uh, no, those are yours. Okay. There you go. Nice folks. Nice night. Thanks, Doug. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to be back home. Keep I was going to say, hang out for a day or two? Or did you uh, did I come up, uh, right now we're living on the Cape and uh, help babysitting. Nice. <laughs> you know I am a grandma. Oh no! Seriously, two months old baby. Oh. Just visiting again this weekend. Uh, love children. Love your children. Love kids, grandkids. You fall, you fall in love with your grandkids. <laughs> this little two month old same. baby. Huh? She just started to be smiling. I can't wait to mess my grandkids like, up someday. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you, John. Thank you, folks. Get to talk. Bye. Bye. So another Ann Arbor from. Sarah Carroll. Right over here. Uh, um, right here. For put that over there. Would you please? Wait. There's no. There's no thingy bobber out here. Whose is this? That's that subdivision. Thing. That's the subdivision. The parcel uh, we're looking at is 77, 79, and 81 Stillwater Road. Number of existing parcels is one. Number of new parcels three. So the proposed change is to splitting one lot into three lots. Current lot is 15 acres with, seven, with 607 feet frontage. Changes will be two lots at two acres each and 200 feet frontage, 200 feet wide, and the remaining lot will be 11 acres, dog lake shape with 207 feet frontage. Oh, so it sounds okay. it sounds clear. Let's see if it looks. <laughs> two hundred feet. Two hundred <laughs> feet. Exactly. <laughs> just, just out of curiosity, what are they doing with the barn? It's agriculture. Um, they are, um, I believe, um, mushrooms. I um, heard something. Edible like mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. Me. Mushrooms. Grocery stores and. What's the oh, so this is next to the old horse? This is the old yeah. horse? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a big yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are there clips on that roof? Are there what? Clips on the roof. No. 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 Mm -mm. Turkey vultures. No, I'm just saying that <laughs> no, I'm that's pretty saying. close. So if these people buy this and they put a fence there, when the snow comes out there, it's going to destroy their fence. How much? Uh, it's only 27 feet. 27 point something. And what's our, what's our, I don't know. What, what, what zone, zone are you in here? Fence. Um, zone. That's all right. They do own part of the outdoor ring. Yeah. And it was, I would say, maybe five feet past the outdoor ring. Ten is all that's required for side yard. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I would say it was about five oh, feet into the, the arena where the snow would fall. Uh, I'm, I'm not questioning. I know that the 27 feet's enough. I just, I just, I have a problem with that too, and I yeah. know how far it goes. So. Yeah. No, I, I think it was for the, uh, the fence line where the ring was. I think it was about five feet past that, where that fence line started, um, where there would be snow in the winter time. So we've got 200 feet, 200 feet. 87, 120, 87, 120, and 227 total frontage. You got 138 and 66, 11 acres. 
This is more than 100 feet. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make a motion that we endorse the plan as presented. No second it. Any other discussion? Is there something left over there? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a access for, for a lot in the back if anybody. And how much is that frontage over there? I don't get, Two. I can't see it. But. 227. 6646 to a point and then an additional 138.7. For a grand total of 227.60. This is much more. This is much different than the uh, first one. Yeah, we, <laughs> a little more comfortable. <laughs> so, I made a motion. motion to second. Endorse. second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Abstain. Abstain. Are you? I'm gonna vote. Four zero one. Yep. A lot of action over in that area of town tonight. Yeah. Popular place. <laughs> oh, it's just on the either edges. We got the. For Matthews the Road. River Road to people water. and the. Easterners and the Westerners. Max, how do you get to this land back here? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. scissors, right? Yeah. 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 That's that pine. Uh, I'd love to. Pine uh, Grove. Oh. Yeah, that was I think, I think they probably have back like back a there. right of way by the barn or back here. Yeah. Back here? No. Oh, the barn? Yeah. Oh, oh when did we purchase it? Mm -hmm. In uh, 2004. Yeah. yeah, and this piece of property here is the buffer between right. Grandview Estates. Right. I don't think there is any right of way. Uh, I no, I don't. There's, ours. if I remember correctly, um, I'm friends with the guy that's married to the whatever family yeah. and I remember your dad Max gave him permission to to drive up through there to you know so I, I don't believe that there is a right yeah, one. No. Yeah. no nothing formal yeah. so these things but that are means not, nothing so no. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's it's just interesting because now we just created two new lots and but it's not a subdivision, but neighbors don't get informed about these A&R. No. no um, well, this one, the, and the difference is, and I will say, but the difference is that this one doesn't, isn't going to impact. Because of our zoning laws, it doesn't impact the neighbors quite so much. I'm yeah. thinking about across the street. I know there's like three or four houses, so one day uh, those yeah. people wake up and they'll right. see, they might see a, two houses being built. But, that, that, but that's, Massachusetts. that's the law. Massachusetts is the only Massachusetts. How are there, our legislators it's doing not, on the... Yeah, yeah, that's changing. There was a result right. line and they made the very minor changes last year, which basically... They didn't call her up. The developers dealt with some pre-existing non-conforming properties that the way they read sounded like they were very specific properties that they were addressing. Is the mud? Thank you. My other right side up. How did you? No, it's the side I know. Up this, this stamp, it got put upside down. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, no, you have. in the union that Yeah, yeah, so that wasn't it. They, didn't, they did not do comprehensive zoning requirements. Mm -hmm. You're very scanning, yeah. yeah. And okay. so they'll have to start over um, yet again. But John, Boy, is that something that they might be in the new and ours would be eliminated under the the proposals that they've been putting forth for zoning reform for so, the last 30 years. So what do they so, become? They don't become site plan to, review. You, could, you can't do it like that. You have to do a subdivision in order to... Even, you can't just break up along the roadways. Right. You would have to show that, you know, you met the criteria for stormwater, et cetera, et cetera. Wow. And we are the only state in the union that it allows us. The only one that still has yep. Yeah, but a friend of mine just did a subdivision. He bought 140 acres of land and then put in 800 lots. And where was this? South Carolina. Yeah. Not up. You well, got wetlands there? Fill them in. Yeah, there is. Move yeah, them the out. Zoning <laughs> and environmental controls down in that area of the world are open. But that's stranger than what we have here. If that, that even you allow that to come up, the, those neighbors, like the frontage, they've got somebody on their, yeah. on their shoulder. Oh, yeah, the house And that other one. That's not. The houses. I mean, that's fine. The houses are about 15 feet apart. 
Jeez. your backyard is almost 12 feet to the fence, then there's no 12 feet to the house behind you. Florida? Mm -mm. Every but time I go to this place in Florida, it's... But that's... It's more and more. Yeah. But you know, they sell them as fast as people looking, and now we're getting all these free Syrians. We're going to have to build more houses. Oh, awesome. So we got the... This was completed at $200, so it's 100 for the plan and then 50 for each lot. So the two new lots, so that's two. Right, because it's new lots. Right, you guys subtract the existing lots. Yeah, yeah, we don't have the. I don't know if I get carried away down on the other side. Yeah. Just kept flipping the pages. So, have you run this? I just feel like my daughter rode with you, that's all. I can't think of That's why you're so familiar. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> But you know when you when you talk about that down in North Carolina, Kip, what's going on with that? I mean, is is it is that considered a high density housing area where they they gave up like, you know, you said how how many houses on 160 acres did they give, you know, 300 acres that went to con conservation for that? You know, those are the questions. Yeah, no, I I don't know. They there's it's so kind you, of funny down there. It's you like, ran the it's like the horse. Everything is like is just above it. The water. We were hoping to you know, sell it so as it's one either dry or not going to move. No. It's swamp. Yeah. People, and they allow you to take high spots and fill them with the swamp. So what you know, was the push everything back? Uh, your daughter, Even when the girl clear cut everything, chip it all up. She must be twenty two now because she was in my daughter's class. And red hair. They take two by six and just form a square. They don't even dig down. They just pour concrete slab and really so they do too long a slab. No. She's been back and forth. But that's, a bit. you know, seems to be the, um, the trend so now is high density housing. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 They're not yeah. cheap yeah. and they, they they're sell, not. and there's a demand. There's, there's people just waiting. For now, them. Where, where are people working, though? I mean, there's what's, 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 no, 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 well, you know, there are a lot of young retired. people, but it's this is in North Myrtle Beach, but it's it's inland about three miles. It's still still near the water. Yeah, it's more miles less. from the water, yeah. But, you know, there's just so many people that... North Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach, North 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 Beach. they're all 30-story high-rise. Right along the oh, along the beach, yeah. All condo. Me. And, no, I you said know. that. So it's not the kind of, you know, sort of beach environment. Yeah. Or, you know, what do you guys think the There really is something to be said for the area that we live in. There really is. I don't care what anyone... Well, let's not mess it up. That's what the zone is about. We didn't do that. Um, John. Did I miss one? You missed the mile. The mile? Oh, sorry. I thought I... Now I got it. All right. Well, now I do. Let me take that up. Up three. One thing that we're really lucky in the Northeast is water. Yes. That's, that's going to be more and more of an issue yes. going forward in the more country. Yeah. And then you look at the drought. Water. Water. You look at everyone keeps using our water and sending it elsewhere. Yeah. Well, they're even predicting that some of these people are moving out in you know, Arizona and California, which are, you know, Las Vegas, <laughs> you know, where there is no water, may start moving back. There's some long-range planning focusing on that because we still have a health. It's not really brought up too much in the news, but Lake Mead is like. Yes, it's. I think it's more than a hundred feet. Horrible. Yeah, it's. No, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. Really Las Vegas never did have water, but they went crazy with expansion and building. They truck it in from elsewhere. Well, no matter really what happens, yeah, Las right. Vegas should be the last thing to drop for that water. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
So I spoke with her and confirmed that um, what this is, it is in relation to that, but what it is is a copy of the environmental notification form. Right. Remember that they had to file because it was a transition of use from agricultural to non-agricultural use and they have priority habitat. So those are the two reasons. Mm -hmm. So this is just a filing to, to initiate all those uh, necessary reviews. So, um, nothing, no action you need to take, it's just really informational no, for your who purposes. who does take action on it? Well, it was, it's, it's uh, uh, MEPA. So you, you have two, there are two letters in there from NAGSP, um, to Mr. French, Tom French, I'm forgetting his first name. Um, so they've done a review on the priority habitat species and they've determined that there is no taking for that issue, so that's, that's cleared. So this is just to make sure that there aren't any specific conditions that they would uh, want to have imposed on the basis of some of these issues. It is good, it, it will be, um, there will be an environmental monitor, public notice, that has not happened yet. This is, the reason why I was able to look at it was because the regional planning agency, which Perpog serves for, for the county, also gets a copy and has the opportunity to comment. Uh -huh. So it went to our natural, uh, our, our, nat our land and natural resource program manager and our transportation manager will be the two people that will be reviewing this on behalf of the RPA. So they'll be reviewing all of this and it's basically the same as what you've seen. There are, the, the only thing you hadn't seen or I hadn't seen here, maybe you have, is there are two alternative um, subdivision plan concepts in there. Uh, one that instead of the crossroad, it just had a, a road coming out with a cul-de-sac in it, and then another conservation development, which brought the houses, the, the, the duplexes in much closer to one another and pulled them in, and then didn't um, cut into, didn't clear and cut into that area towards the back where the trees are. So how many units would be less units? It had, it had fewer than the units. I think it had like... 31 or so. I, so I just, I just took a very that, brief look at it. If they don't get the two front frontage Yeah, those were, the, those were just the two, those were the two alternatives to the plan that they openly pulled together for you that they had considered. So they had to present those to them. But that they are, that they have, they have looked at those and decided to do the plans that were presented to you in, in preliminary form instead of those two alternatives. But if they don't get approval on the two because the two roads are too close together, so if they don't get approval for that, then they can Even go back to doing Even those plans have those same two roads, if you look at them. All of the plans have those same two oh, roads I thought you said there was one it. Yeah, it just that middle one across, you know, that road B yeah, 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 going across yeah. wasn't a full road. It just had a little cul-de-sac into the middle. Uh -huh. And I remember that the, the, they had said that they, um, when they spoke to safety officials in town, that they were not happy about yeah, the right. cul-de-sac for, you know, problems we were discussing earlier right. about the need for emergency vehicles to turn around. So they had recommended that crossroad and then the plans were altered to incorporate them. Hmm. But so it will be reviewed. As soon as that comes out of the environmental monitor, there will be a designated comment period. I'm not sure exactly how long that'll be, but then those comments will be able to come back and they will then ultimately the re there may be a subsequent review if the uh, definitive subdivision plan has different elements to it that would further impact these resources. So this may be this might be a first time through depending on how much the ultimate plan might be altered. But you don't really have to take any action. This is just for your information. Okay, so my, I go back to my question. Who does take action? So you said the FERC card. They will be providing comments to the MEPA review. So this also went to MEPA? Yeah, this was the application to MEPA that has been now copied to you and to the Franklin Region Council of Governments and to a multitude of other agencies uh, that are listed. In I there. don't. That's what I just didn't see on here. That it says to MEPA. What does that stand for? Massachusetts Environmental Protection Act Agency. MEPA. They, yeah. And then there's MESA, the Endangered Species oh, okay. Act, yeah. and NHP, NHESP. It was interesting that the letters were both signed by the same person you know, and on behalf of NAGSP and mm -hmm. They're just shorthand. NHSP. NAGSP, National Heritage and Endangered Species Program. National so Heritage. that's where the uh, priority habitat NHS. designation emanated from. That was the name of the people who supplied the panels for the school roof. NH what? National Heritage. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe a different notion. This is natural. Oh, natural. Yeah, this is natural. And then, natural. also in this file, but I think, when was our last meeting? It was uh, so October 3. We did do 
with Pat's help, the certificate of decision and preliminary subdivision plan. And it, oh yeah, because we all signed it. They show, yeah, they show that that and the board of selection, or at board of selection, board, board, board of health, all got filed. That was indicated in, as a check off that that had been accomplished within that yeah. filing. So. All right, so now we just wait. Just wait to hear back from them. Um, really, I don't think you're going to have to do anything more until you have a definitive plan filed with you. Right, which at first when this came in, we got an email from Priscilla saying that some of the plan came in, and so we weren't sure if it was the defendant, right. and if it was, we need to start acting. I would have been surprised, because it's going to take a It was a quick turnaround, I thought. Yeah. I know they want to proceed right. in a fairly expeditious so, manner, but I thought that was pretty quick. Um, and did we already decide that when we do get the definitive plan that we... Um, we hire you to. Do you the haven't same voted thing. that yet. Um, you know, typically what we've done is we've gotten we're the plans getting, and right, then I look right. at them and I give you an estimate of what right, that will right. cost. And so, so I would be. So that's why I was following up because, in fact, there was a definitive plan. I wanted to have an right, opportunity right, right. to review it and be able to come to you tonight with a letter. Because since you've had a preliminary plan in front of you, you'll have a 90 day timeline to review the definitive plan. 135 days if there hasn't been a preliminary. Now, obviously, if there are things that are happening and changes that are being made and discussions going on, the applicant can ask for that timeline to be extended and that won't count against you. You know, the clock sort of stops ticking when they request that continuation. But, you know, you were very mindful of that 40 day yeah. time frame on the preliminary and we'll, we'll be closely watching the 90 Do we get to stop the clock too? I mean, they it has to be at their request. Okay. If, they do, if they refuse to request it, then but your only recourse is to deny. Oh. Because otherwise you get into constructive grant issues again. So it's in their interest. It's right. in their it's interest in their to do it the to right. To keep the discussions open with you and to request right. the right. continuance. Because yeah. right. right. otherwise things take a lot longer. And right, because if they're holding will. our feet to our yeah. the, the fire, fire is, so I've, I've like, never seen anybody you know, dig in their heels and not do that. Because they want to keep the process moving. Then the other thing that I think this is in here, but I don't, it's nothing for us to do, is a, uh, is the Cumberland Farms project. What's, we got, yeah, the, we got that? that. We got that, those plans. But do we I'm assuming you would get it as the uh, stormwater permit authority. I was looking, I was reading about that earlier, but I was like wondering the about Concom, that. The uh, Concom just did something with them. Well, because there's probably wetlands there, oh, yeah, there's there's a lot we won't yeah. um, we won't have anything to do. Oh, with. they just hired. That's what it was. They just hired Greg they Newman. Hired I just saw the contract with, with yeah. Greg Newman, which, as we've done in the past, whatever he comes up with is going to be a lot of what goes into the stormwater. So we'll probably end up hiring him too for peer, peer review for that section. Well, for for stormwater bylaw, we won't touch that if. There's wetlands, which there yeah, then is. it would be under their jurisdiction. Then it's under their jurisdiction for the stormwater bylaw, because there's wetlands involved. We can check on that. Oh, we can I'm, that I'm quite certain really? of that. So they deal with all stormwater stuff, even if only like the back part of the lot is the, the, the wetlands or something. I'm. We'll check on that. Check it. All right. I, I'm pretty sure I'm right on that, but. I mean, that'd be great. So it doesn't, instead of both of us doing all this that was water the and stuff, in that the storm water right. for that. Um, so that, but they haven't submitted the site plan review to us yet. Right. Not to us, but they, with the town has them. They're in town hall. They're in the office. The site plan review application? Mm, well, all the plans are there. I don't know if there's an application, but all the plans are there. In the book, it's pretty, it's pretty big size. It's kind of like the uh, Circle K. It's, 5,000 square foot store and four or five pump stations on you know, both sides. Big right, but if, it, if, if it's a site plan review application, we should have gotten it. We should, that comes to us. I, right? I know. I, I was looking at the plans in the office. So I, don't I mean, they've had preliminary. They've had preliminary plans, but I. I'll go get them shortly. Well, I, no, I don't, well, no, you know, we don't need anything. No, they, haven't applied, they haven't applied, but if I, they, they have they applied. May, they, they may just have the plans in there. Yeah. I know. I, I just hope, and maybe you can just ask, because I know they're overwhelmed in the office there. That we, I just don't want this one to slip through, because yeah, we also have not, a time limit. No, there's nothing, there's no one in the office. So oh. I know. Oh, cool. So. That's so part of why well, I Yeah, I would, I would hate to see that the site plan review application has been put in. And then somehow, oh, we so forgot. And then we have 30 days less to deal with it. You know, we're yeah. gonna need the full. Oh, sorry. We're gonna need the full nine well, the, days the, or whatever it the is. The booklet's pretty thick. I mean, it's hundreds of pages. 
Right. Well, okay. You might want to follow up with Dick. So it'll be the next, uh, I mean, I just talked to Priscilla on last Thursday or Friday. She didn't say anything about it. It, made, it sounds like it warrants plans? a quick email to yeah to Dick and to Dick. Dick. Right. Yeah. Right. Do so let's um so we can we just go back. Well, the October third. Uh, no, let, let me. I'll go read them over and then uh, there's only one. Do you need copies? I think I can use the copier in here. I wrote down. Actually, that. this one's short and sweet, and I did read it. Um, did we get it? Well, she said that like two weeks ago when asked if, if we wanted to. The September 6th one was six pages, but this was just the one page. Oh, and I also uh, quickly wanted to update you because I think you get them too, Kip. These reports about the solar field up there on the quarry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. River Road, yeah, and now um, interesting. I know, and so they show pictures and stuff. But I happen to be up there, and from Keats Road, you can see it now. Mm -hmm. it, it, there's a lot of solar panels up there. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, they're, it's they're hard to see them. Kind of winding. Yeah, one, but they they just go in a whole long oh, strip. They just go, and it's actually in this picture you can see. Um, and so if you go up, if you go Keats Road, you know, you go up, and then you, as you go down, and then you're going back up again, you can see it off to the right. But um, there was some issues with erosion around the edges, and these this report that we get every week. They keep telling them, come on, fix fix the edges of the road there. You know, luckily it hasn't it's been a pretty dry yeah, summer. I, and stuff, we so that much water, it hasn't, I think if it was a, if it was a lot rainier, it would have been. But it said monitor access road for running and potential runoff issues. Install roadside swale in a rate portion of the project. And then they were also saying they had to, they were putting a lot of underground conduits to get all the wires back to the inverter and everything. And they said after we do that, then we can go and do more. Landscaping, I guess, was kind of what they're saying. Well, the good news is that this new report came out. They've actually started addressing started some of those issues yeah. that had been waiting, you know. And our friends at, who was it, New England Environmental? New England Environmental, who are they? Who's Kevin McCaffrey? He's yeah. the engineer there. He was kind of a couple of right. along the way. He sort of stays on top of this. Thing. Yeah, I see that. And that's the report that goes with those photos. Oh, yeah, so here's the uh, agreement with the CONCOM at hiring um, Newman Environmental Engineering to do the peer review for them. <coughs> so, John, it does say on this contract, detailed review, this task includes detailed review of plans and stormwater management report to check on completeness of submission and compliance with state, state stormwater management guidelines. This may also include review of compliance with local stormwater bylaw or wetlands bylaws, if any, in effect. So that's what they're hiring him to do. So that's good for us. Yeah. All right, so we'll get the minutes straightened out and vote on them at the next, uh, next meeting. Did you vote on the September minutes last meeting? We did with changes, and then I was supposed to go back and make the changes, and when I, when I went back to make the changes, um, I did. But I don't have copies of that for you. Yeah, I apologize it was for only not being at the last meeting. I was working nights in Boston, so but then I'm, I'm done paving now. So now you're back. So. so I'll get the September and October and November minutes out to everybody before the December meeting. So we should set a date for this September for the December meeting. Speaking of solar, Eversource is already starting to tweak the net metering and mm -hmm. cutting it back. It used to be 100% net metering, now it's 60-40. You can only send out, get, get credit for 60%. Mm -hmm. or, that, that, 40 of it? That, well, that change, you're only going to get credit for 60% of the excess uh, going I'm on. I'm not paying as much under the new rules yeah. either. So if you, if you weren't locked in by it was, I don't know, was September or very early October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're putting the kibosh that pretty fast. So I get December 5th is the first Monday. Any problem with that? There's no holiday, there's no... That's right after Thanksgiving, right? The... Mm -hmm. No, it's all... No, December 5th. Oh, December 5th, yeah. December 5th. Um, 7 o'clock. Are you still going to be digesting a week later? No, we're going to... Um, yeah, for a little bit, yeah. Any other business? Um, 
We never took any action on the uh, building height. Oh, height. Um, is this something that we agreed on that we're going to bring forth at the next town meeting, or do we need to have more discussion on it? I believe that was the one there was an email exchange, John, that Doug had sent it out, and then there was a comment from the building commissioner that suggested that there was a need for additional discussion, if I'm recalling correctly. Right. And we did speak about it, and I spoke with the uh, fire department, yes. and you know, they didn't seem to have an issue with it. And we were going from 35 to 50? Well, right now it's 36, right? 35. It's 35. Yeah. So you'd want to go at least 12 feet for a commercial structure. So, because you got 12 foot floors for commercial, right? Could be. Oh. So to add another floor, you'd need to say you got at least a minimum of 12. Right. 12 times so you'd have to go to so 47 or 48. Yeah, so 50 would give it to. So 50 gives you that other floor. And you think, you said the fire department had, had it's fine with that? Didn't, no one had any issues so. there. I it's actually a, spoke to official. people in the fire department too and they were fine with them. So it would be a zoning change. Right. So it would have to go through the whole right. process. Oh, I see. It, 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 so it, 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 EPD, which was the newest thing, we said 48, because we, we asked the fire department. And so I think when we created that whole category, but we didn't go back and change the others at that time. No, because it's allowed just only, it's we allowed just only in the OPD. So the right now it's only in the EPD. So should we just, the EPD, sorry. Should we just make them all 48 or all, all 50? It doesn't, but we should just make them all the same, I guess. Uh, uh, RA too? RA, CVD, I don't know. This maybe. is the whole discussion. Yeah. You'd want, yeah, we'd want to have, you'd have to put together a you know, specific proposal and it would have yeah, to be we posted have and have the public meeting, hearings yeah. and go to a town meeting. Well, you got to do it anyway, so. Right. Yeah. Are there, so then we get in the question, are there other things we should do with them? Are right. The are there thing? other housekeeping things? If you're going to be going through this process, are there other housekeeping things that you might as well take care of at the same time? So those, that's Well, is that the time we want to address the solar, too? Because this one, people could go for variance right now, right? Or a special permit? Well, you can. But I guess what I'm saying is it's something that we talked about. Instead of kicking a can down the road, we should decide. On. So then we can put the paperwork forward so yeah. at the next meeting, whenever it is, if there's one in Jan I mean, uh, January, we could do that. If there's others, we can bring those forward too. Right. But, but just the thing is, every time you make a change, it costs money it's for hearings and for reprinting all the zoning things. So it's we'd rather not do it right. just for that one little thing. I guess is what I'd suggest. Uh, you don't like to waste money anymore. unless there, right? But unless there are other concerns, which we might I mean. Well, some sol pressing need the solar. Yeah, the solar is fine. Bigger, making it bigger. for for the Up small scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Small scale Wouldn't you have to make it an RA because the building that's. <clears throat> Needs the 50 feet is an RA, anyways. Is that right? The current mm -hmm. one that you're looking for, that they were looking for a variance? Well, that's Deerfield Academy, right? Is that no, right? Isn't all of old Deerfield RA? Yeah, I think. Oh, I didn't know the one. Oh, but they've got a variance for that one. Right. Mm -hmm. But. But. But if you're going to make changes to the zoning, it's always nice to make it, sure. you know, so that there's more Get compliance rather stuff, than yeah. less. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> That would be that would be a discussion. Do you, right. Since you already have a taller building right. in that district, would you like to increase it in that district or not? Small scale soil is the only thing I can think of that we keep bumping. Yeah, I might have some notes I could go back through to see Other things, things that, that might have been mentioned along the way that we thought you might want to go back to. How they There's how they can draw lines for our inners. <laughs> <laughs> we can go back and keep revisiting that. Did the did the planning board develop the Marijuana district. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's going to be a request to change that. So if there's something else that we can put your thinking caps on. What 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 motivating I mean what? Um, there's there was a a, a deal or I should I say an agreement for a person to uh, raise and distribute marijuana within that district, which I believe was the part of the industrial district or along Route 5. It's the industrial Alex park and then up Route 5 a little bit more. And it's, it's not going to work out there. And uh, the license and all of the paperwork that that person went through is for Deerfield only. And 
the, the loss of that license w could cost the town hundred thousand yep. dollars a year yep. Yep. plus so, uh, whatever portion so of taxes so. why is that not going to work no, is there but is that our problem or is it no that's a question well, well it, and i don't well, buy that it's going to lose us money because the social value of no this, you mean so because we, they're we can argue about this they just don't no, want it, but anyway, no, that's, yes. that's a medical that we have a medical marijuana overlay district here. correct right we might given what happens tomorrow right we might have just the plain marijuana over right. there. So there might be a reason so, to <laughs> revisit the issue. Which the people marijuana. that have the medical marijuana dispensaries, their infrastructure already exists. Obviously. Right. Bring on the candy bars. Right. right well, right. And there's a lot of, you know, I haven't studied it, but there's a lot in the in the, re the referendum that relates, they, they relate the recreational to the business to the existing MM, you know, medical marijuana system. So uh, there might be reason for the town to address that whole issue in a broader. But way. still, so the reason it doesn't work is because of politics, because of business. No, it was, it was business. It was it was a money issue. Yeah. Somebody didn't want to sell this property to that property. It just got real expensive real quick. Okay. I mean, it just wasn't. Going to so be why? Feasible. That's my question. So why does that come back to the town? Why? Why? Well, be, the, the issue for the town is that the town stood to gain the re money, the revenues, okay, you know, okay. and uh, so it's not like I, it's I don't know how, um, I, I guess I'm going to just leave it as tax revenues, uh, but it was going to be a substantial amount of money, and that if this goes okay. nowhere, then the town would lose out, and With for whatever reason, that would make me a very happy man, right, but for whatever reason, <laughs> the, the, the community <laughs> sought to bring this in, you know, I, mean, I don't know, but. I just yeah. figured I'd give you a hint. All right. Yeah, so next meeting, December 5th? December 5th. Anything else no before the board? We have I'm, a motion to You ran I an amazing moved. meeting tonight. Look at we, we, we did a lot. Really? Uh, That's like, a lot, did a lot of people. people. You, 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 <laughs> are you going to be able to send it to Priscilla? That we, um, I move that we... Is you're going to send the minutes to Priscilla. All those in favor? Aye. All right.